the outside of my building that's over 100 years old is being brick pointed. So if you hear those little <laughs> knocks, it's someone hammering on the outside of the building. That's okay. I'm glad they're doing it. It'll stand for another 100 years. Yes. So I thought we'd take a question from one of the guys. Uh. And this came from a young man. He's about 23, lost his virginity at 22. You know, virginity. Let's not say that. He became sexual at 22, which is a little late. Um, not super late, but it's definitely the national average in New York City is 12, so he's later. He's been masturbating since he was 11, but he's ne because he delayed contact with another person, his girlfriend broke up with him because she felt she didn't turn him on because he has created, he got into fetish porn, and he needs elaborate fantasies to get off. And it's all, you know, armpit licking, toe licking, sucking, whatever. Incest. It has nothing to do with genital sex because he has no experience with that. No. Got it? So if you can just imagine... What's going on in his ...having head. partner sex and you've had no experience with contact with another body other than this shitty, crappy porn, and I really am angry at porn, terribly angry, but I don't want to censor it because that's never the solution. No. So what this kid needs, he says, please help me. Well, because it's going to impede all of his relationships. He can't have one. If you can't have sex with your partner, I mean... And if you think having sex is licking an armpit or sucking a toe or putting something inside your anus... Those are fun, but it's not the, the, the touch and the The thing that he needs to do is to have a partner, an older woman, who will guide him. Now, that could Which be, means that he has to learn. He has to be open to learning... And become the student. Oh, I think he's more than interested, more, <laughs> more than ready. He's Okay, good. He knows he's lost. So surrogate partner is when you see a therapist and the therapist recommends a woman who then they work in tandem. Now, it can go on for... Four There's that movie with Helen Hunt out. Thank you. Uh, called Sessions. Yeah, I'm, I, I hear it's getting rave reviews except from people who are in the business. Well, of course. <laughs> Hollywood! So they have you know, six to ten sessions, whatever it is. And one of Stephanie's complaints is that the uh, IPSA... Which is the organization that all the sur sex surrogates are part of. Yeah. IPSA. They, they can keep, IPSA. You can Google that. Yeah, and I, and I also included it in his email. But they can keep a, 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 a contact going forever. Yeah, in the movies, she says, we can only see each other six times. But it's true. It's like you need... A mentor, you need um, a tutor. You need tutor. a sex tutor. Yeah, it's like a dance instructor. It's like a mm -hmm. tennis instructor. It's a sports instructor. You, they're showing you how to use your body in a sexual context, and it's absolutely the best way. He's too old now to get it through the internet, I think. So, and all right, and it's so, not fair for him to date women and try to have them. No, because he's going to he's going to act like a guy. And it's going to hurt their feelings, which it he's did. Gonna, he's going to act like, left. you know, Mr. Macho Man, I know, I what, know I'm what I'm doing. doing. And mm -hmm. he fumbles and falls apart. And he can't maintain erections, so. even in blowjobs. So that's, if a woman, if you're going down on a guy and he can't maintain erection, you're out. Uh, I you know? will testify. Right? Because <laughs> you're like, I'm not turning you on. You take it personal when you're a woman. <laughs> anyway, the, the thing that he did, so if he can't afford a surrogate or, and a therapist, I would say... Use a sex worker. Craigslist. And, and put it up and make it completely clear what the situation is. And what you want to learn. Or find an older woman that you make friends with in the neighborhood. Absolutely. I mean, you've... A divorcee, a widower. You've helped out a few youngins. Of course, because I want to have good sex, so you have to school them. I have done the same and thing. And it's actually kind of hot. It's one of my favorite things. It's really if hot. He, listen, if he lived in New York, I would have a session with him. I would, too grandma and, and and hot chick we would be <laughs> no there. that's a porn film right there. <laughs> we would be there to help you but in the meantime you need an older woman who will show you with your body what to do so i hope he gets back to me i gave him all the information in a way he has to become body literate it's all Good. he's oh, he's mind that. literate with sexuality, but he's no. not body literate. No, is he not even? Well, I mean, he can fantasize, and some people have difficulty fantasizing. Like he uh -uh. can do that, but it's all in his head. No, I have. I, I no, I d disagree. It, it, what his fantasy is about is is asexual. Ooh, got, got it. it, got it, got it. Okay. If I mean, if he had... he's not fantasizing about sex, he's fantasizing about fetish. fetish fetishes. So anyway, poor darling child. We're rooting for you, and we hope that you can make the, take the next step. And we have to do something about 
porn with these kids because it's devastating. And I don't know the answer yet, but we'll keep the conversation going. Well, Meanwhile, get off porn. Go lay down in your bed. Have a fantasy all by yourself. Get some oil and just rub your genitals. Yep. And enjoy it. Okay, kids.